I learned a lot uh, the last year, and uh, I've been thankful for it. And uh, one of the hardest thing was uh, I felt so alone. Um, I got a lot of text messages, a lot of letters, and so on. But but our I, I you just still feel alone, and and especially when it came to the church, uh, other ministries. Um, why didn't the church come united and speak out? Um, and and I use a lot of time of think of that and analyzing it. And and first I thought, yeah, okay, they they don't understand the case and it's very complicated and and maybe they think I have done some something wrong and they don't know it's because of Jesus I'm there. And I thought that was one big big part of why people did not speak out. Another part was that. I haven't been involved with the church. Um, I have been doing my own thing and just busy with that. And and thought in areas I don't need the church or need those people there. And I, I got very humbled in there uh, because there was a few people who spoke out. And it was not to be my expect to speak out. Um, there's other people I hope and have expected to say something, they said nothing. But when those people spoke out, people in my heart, I have felt something against. People in my heart, I have not said it public there, but I felt something and they don't, don't it, do it different and, and they don't do it like, like we do. But when they spoke out for me and really stood up for me, it really humbled me in a, in a deep way. And I need to repent and, and it was my wife and we needed to examine ourselves and our heart. And, and I saw that even people do things different and have different faith in some areas. It's not our enemies. And this area, I, it really went deep. Um, because when, when you're suffering and going through this, you just, you just, everyone who's not your enemy is your friend. And, and, and I was, I would truly be thankful for those people who stood up. And I know I'm like, I'm going to be there for other people in the future. Even if they believe different, even if they do different, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And I want to be there for them. And I really learned that, that we need each other. And there's a lot of change that's going to happen in my life when it comes to this and also in my ministry. And I'm sorry uh, that I haven't been involved the way I should have been. And I think it's really a time now with the persecution that's coming that we are getting involved with each other. And we, uh, we, we manage to love each other and love hide a multitude of sins. And maybe we do things a little different but love cover that, and, and we need that. Otherwise, we will not survive with what is going to come.